Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and I'm a non-traditional equestrian. In this video, it's a brief description of what we're currently feeding our horses at Fountain Cottage Track System. Okay, so one of the things that we feed all of the horses here is Agrob's Wizencobs. I love these, it's a mix of grasses and herbs really natural it can be a substitute hay but we we feed hay ad lib here so this is really just so that we can add their balancers or their supplements or anything that the horses might need um so we're just giving a bit my elderly horse has a lot because she's got she's lacking in teeth and she struggles to keep weight on but the others just have a bit it's soaked but it's just um, really substitute hay but it's just it's not been sprayed there's no nasties in it and there's lots of nice things in it so it's just a nice thing to add to their diet and then the fatties only have a tiny bit of the agrobs cobs and then they have a handful of Thunderbrook's chaff which is actually coated with linseed so that's good for their coat and also makes them feel like they're eating something even though there's very little calories in it and it helps them just chew it and slow down so that's why they have that then this probably isn't particularly recommended but my elderly mare loves them it gets her to eat and she's spoiled so she has some pony nuts Charnwood linseed, again, my elderly mare who just struggles to keep weight on, she will have plenty of that. This is purely to try and get some weight on her. And then the others will just have a sprinkle on top. Not these, because they have more Thunderbrooks that's already got the Charnwood, so they don't need it. And then I'll give table salt to everyone. So this helps them just so the horses don't get dehydrated it's really important that they drink the more they drink the better um, it, it helps with colics it helps with moving just just keeping everything moving and um, also keep it that, so that they absorb the right minerals into their body so it's just an important thing horses tend not to have enough salt so I do actually put it in their food they have also got salt licks but there is a theory that they just can't get enough from salt licks so you do need to give them some help as well so that's they always have that Oops, they also have magnesium pretty much for the same reasons it's one of the most lacking minerals in horses they don't get enough out of the ground anymore they really do need it most of them some people use it for muscle function I tend more to be using it for um, the same reasons as salt um, and it helps it's um it sort of helps them with, uh, activates the enzymes necessary for the metabolism of carbohydrates and carbohydrates and amino acids. So very important that they have magnesium. I don't give it to them all the time, but a lot of the time I do. Um, and a couple of the horses, this is their morning feeds, but in the evening they'll have a balancer as well. And I have just started giving cinnamon to some of them which is meant to help with insulin levels and it tastes yummy so that's something that I've been told about recently and I thought why wouldn't I it's not going to hurt them if it helps their insulin levels then happy days so they have that and it makes them happy so that's pretty much it after that it's just their individual supplements but that's mainly what their feeds are made up of so thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching!